thanks what's up guys it's amber and today i'm bringing you a video i am so excited for if you don't know me i am a rising sophomore at chapman university in orange county california and with the whole coronavirus situation i had to sign a lease for an apartment and now my classes might be online so i might have signed it for no reason but i'm glad to be here regardless so this is my apartment for the upcoming school year i'm rooming with three other girls it's a two-bedroom apartment and there's four of us total so two people per bedroom so i'm just gonna be showing you guys what i got to decorate my space i got literally all of it from Walmart but I'll get more into that later showing you guys all of my apartment essentials and you guys can use it to inspire your dorm essential have to buy lists. <laughs> your like dorm checklist. Your dorm checklist, yeah. Also, I'm Ashley behind the, the camera. camera. That's my older sister, Ashley. She goes to college in upstate New York where we're both from. Also, if you're on like the college search on YouTube trying to prep for your upcoming school year, I have a ton of videos on my channel all about college and like things you have to buy and things you should know beforehand. So if you wanna check out my videos, I'll have a playlist tagged somewhere above. The way this video is gonna be structured is the first part's gonna be vlogs of us moving in and setting stuff up and having fun and then Towards the end, I'm gonna do the finalized apartment tour, which is very exciting. With all that being said, let's jump back to the first day we got here when we started moving in. It's falling. No, it's insane. Put it there. What are you doing? My turn. They're stupid. Why? 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 I don't like Amber, she got in my way and I hit her bed frame. <sighs> no, I didn't. That's all my roommate's stuff. Mine's gonna go somewhere here in our closet and in our bathroom. I like it. Hey guys, we're back in my apartment. I'm not sure what the last thing I showed you guys was, but we got here in California a few days ago and we we're staying in an Airbnb just because we had Charles and Andrew with us, but now they've gone home because they had to leave early. And so me and Ashley are just staying in my actual apartment now. Nothing is set up yet. It's quite a disaster. So I'm gonna try and set up my bed right now. Just for reference, this is what my room looks like before I've set anything up. <laughs> I got to set my mattress, which I had shipped here from Walmart. I think this is one of those deals where like the mattress was like vacuum sealed, so it's like wrapped up all tight and then it gets to expand. <gasps> Get out! <gasps> okay. Ooh. Hey Ashley, can you come help me with something? Where are you? Oh my little god. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> that made me look so mean. I was literally just like, eh. <laughs> This room already feels so comfortable. I don't even need to add anything else to it. A minimalist vibes. Here's my memory foam mattress topper from last year. How did I just get electric shocked by this? Now I just roll it out. God, I'm so excited. Oh my god, I'm so excited. You have no idea. Now I gotta get my bedding on it. All right, comforter on. Get off the couch, it's carpet time. Yeah! <laughs> epic sauce, epic sauce. We've got the rug. This is my desk, now I'm gonna put it together because I am a big, strong, builder woman. I do not need no man. Okay, guys, I didn't film myself putting it together because I thought we were boring, but I think the desk is done. Why am I weak? Okay, I kind of did all the big things today. I wasn't expecting to do that much. Good job, Amber. What's up guys? It's day number two of setting up my apartment. I'm just shuffling through some of my stuff while listening to Ashley's freaking podcast. I need to listen to podcasts way more. This is so much more entertaining than just listening to music while I do these random tasks. Cause like, I actually get to follow a conversation. She had me as a guest on her second episode, so I'm listening to that one right now. And I think I'm gonna try and like fully set up my closet today. We're hanging up my hanging clothes. When I pack them away, you put them all on a hanger, put a hair tie on the hooks, poke a hole at the bottom of a trash bag, and then push it over over the hooks and then you just store them away like this. Help! I am. Help! My stupid fingers won't hold it properly! <laughs> I can't get it <laughs> I'm gonna get about three hooks on there. You- Oh! <laughs> I need a bad bleep. bleep. Where would Addison Ray put her dresses? Things In a more expensive like apartment. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh my god, I'm so random. <laughs> Neighbor stop! Neighbor, your downstairs neighbor's gonna be like, oh my god. <laughs> SpongeBob be like, and then Patrick would be like, let's leave. Why do I run and you don't even film me? Why do I run and just you keep pointing at the closet? What do I do any of this for? 
Okay. There's so many bugs out there. Why in Southern California are there these giant golf ball sized beetles that are blind and just fly into walls and they scare me so bad? Then why are though. they keep circling around my window? They're so ugly. Does anyone even know what I'm talking about? I straight up moved here and didn't even know those existed. And then during my orientation week, I was literally like, there's freaking government drones here. Let's get back to putting the room together. Let's get back to business. I was just going through my closet and trying on random clothes. And I've never tried on this dress that I thrifted. And it fits so well. I just wanted to share that. Also, I've been listening to Vespertine all the way through Bjork's album. And I think my favorite song is still Unison. In case anyone was wondering. Now, my closet is almost done. Just thought I should update you guys. At the end of this video, when everything's all set up in my apartment, I'm going to do a more in-depth tour so you'll understand more of how my closet is organized then. But for now, I think I'm done setting most of it up, which is very exciting. And now Ashley and I are going to head to Walmart to pick up a few more things that we forgot to buy earlier. I'm considering poning all my roommates and just making my whole bedroom Minecraft themed. Like they have these comforters. We're actually buying these Minecraft beach towels for me. Like this blanket like, actually has a nice like color scheme. Because like, I don't even have a throw blanket. And it glows in the dark world. Wait, no, I'm literally gonna buy it. Yeah, why is this and it's actually like nice? Pretty. This is kind of epic. I'm so excited for this. Now we're in the bath mat aisle. I wanna buy like five more bath mats to go on the floor. Because no. have you seen my bathroom right now? It There's was... four bath mats on the floor and it's covering up so much space. I'll answer what it looks like right now. I want to like fill the entire floor with bath mats so then when my roommate walks gross. in, it'll just be a fully carpeted bathroom. We forgot to get a cart so now we're holding like 20 items. Time to check out! What's up guys? Ashley, sit down. Lime. So we are seated here in front of my fridge to do a little Walmart haul because I realized I didn't have that many decorative items in my room to really spice it up. So we're gonna start off with these two throw pillows I got from my bed. Burnt orange is one of my favorite colors. And then just this nice little white knit pillow to add some texture. Then we got this big Chunkies. chair pillow, a little hamper. Next up we got this mirror. Wow, look at you guys in there. We got some beach towels. Spider-Man one for Charles at home. A creeper one for me at college. Is it a Minecraft. creeper one? Is this Minecraft? It's an underwater scene. There's no creeper. Creepers, creepers don't go into water. You don't have to get technical. Side to side. Wait, this actually looks kind of good. Hey guys, I did a green screen of my head into the fridge. A nice little trash bin for my bedroom. Good aesthetic. And then lastly, but of course not least, is this Minecraft throw pillow. Pickaxe swinging from side to side, side, side to side. Crazy, Ooh. it's beautiful. Anyways, I'm just gonna put this stuff away and then we'll actually style it in my room tomorrow. So we'll see you then. Bye. Good morning gamers. I believe it is day three of setting up my room and I think this is gonna be probably the biggest day of the video because I'm gonna be setting up my entire bed space because obviously right now it's pretty barren but we're gonna make this the ultimate man cave. I'm gonna redo my bedding because right now I'm stuck with all the old stuff from last semester which as you can see is quite drab. So we're just gonna watch a little glow up take place right now. So this is my original bed. Very ugly, no kiss kiss for him. And there we have it guys, the room is complete. My aesthetic is insane amount of blankets core. Yeah. <laughs> so this is pretty much my finished bedding. So handsome, kiss kiss for him. I bought pretty much all my dorm essentials from Walmart just because I looked like everywhere to buy every single item that I needed and they always had the best prices and their quality is always really good. Like I was pretty surprised to find like a lot of my pillows and the blankets I wanted went with the theme that I was going for. And I also got a lot of my kitchen appliances and bathroom appliances from there. So you'll see that when I set up those spaces. It was super fun to buy all my stuff because they just had everything I needed in one spot. Like I literally got my desk, my mattress, the mirror, all my pillows, everything I needed for this entire apartment all from Walmart. And it was nice because I could shop online too. So I got to ship like my mattress and all like the really big items to my apartment rather than having to like lug them in my car. But I just gotta say, I would highly recommend Walmart for your dorm essentials. So yeah, I'm just gonna carry on with decorating the space. I think I'm gonna start with the string lights, which might be a poor decision, but I'm doing it. The string lights are up. Now it's just time to hang the posters. Alrighty everyone, I believe I'm done hanging up all the posters and flowers on my wall. So now I'm just gonna put all my pillows back on my bed and we'll see the full finished product. Whoa bang! Here it is, my nice little bed space. Woo! I love it, Amber. Yes. It's so nice. Nux. Fine. It looks so good. I wonder if this is a bad idea. No, I think it's fine. Okay, yeah, you're probably right. He's beautiful. He's so beautiful. He's the apartment mascot. Yes. Corn kitty. Dry 
Drum roll, please. It's apartment tour day. Yay. I'm ready to show you guys the finalized tour. There's no better place to start than right outside my door. Let's go. Let's get in. Welcome home. Welcome to my humble apartment. So I guess we'll jump right in. When you walk in, you got the keys, etc. right there. To our left, we have a closet. Classic closet things. Right there, straight ahead, we got the shoe rack. Really good stuff. If you follow me this way, we've got the fridge. We've got the pantry, which is looking quite fine in there. Came with a microwave. How handy dandy. Came with an oven. Nice. Then moving into some of the appliances that I bought, I got this brand new toaster, blender, and water kettle, all from Walmart. I got them all online. Super handy dandy. Then we're super lucky to have a really big kitchen sink, and underneath it, we have all of our cleaning supplies, our dishwasher, which is super nice. Oh, the island. I almost forgot. Right here in the center of the kitchen, we have our island, which I'm so excited to have. And it's super nice that the countertops are all white because then it reflects the light and opens up the space a bit more So that's about it for the kitchen. I believe now we have the living room We have the sectional couch here. Then we have this rug, which I love I got this online from Walmart as well. My roommate's bike is shown there nice And if you look straight here, we have our patio So out here we just have a little table and a few chairs. We eat dinner out here sometimes It's very nice to sit out here back inside now if you follow me this way We head over to my bedroom space, but first we have to look at corn kitty. I have a bunch of pictures I hung on my wall and then I was going through them and I was like, I think this deserves to be in the common living space for everyone to see. So I hung it right here above the kitchen lights. Everyone that sits on the couch will have to look to their left and see the corn kitty right there in all of its glory. I do enjoy it. I think he's so handsome. He has corn all over him. He <laughs> just loves that corn. There's just so many corn There's kernels. So many corn kernels. And he has his paws crossed all posh and fancy. So what a awesome. specimen. So anyways, <laughs> here in front of the bathroom we have these cabinets. Bath towels, beach supplies, so I have this little beach bag. We're gonna head to the bathroom. Ayo! So this curtain is from my roommate. Here I have my towels, which I also got from Walmart. Believe it or not, I got all my things there. So plush and soft. Plush Speaking and soft. of plush and soft, let's take a look at the floor, shall we? I don't really know how to explain this. They're all gray, and I set them up in a geometric shape. I was hoping that by the end of the week, I would buy enough to cover the entire floor oh. so that when my roommate came back, she'd be like, why is the bathroom fully carpeted now? I might have to do it still, that's kind of hilarious. These three drawers are mine. Here in this top drawer, I have my basic essentials. This one, I just have some more stuff. None of these are organized in any specific way. I just kind of shove things in here. On this counter space, we have not one, but two hand soaps, some paper towels, and some booty wipes. Booty Let's wipes. head into the kitchen. I mean, the bedroom. And I said heads instead of what? Can I do that one more time? Let's head into my bedroom now. Let me lead you in. After me. Before you. After <laughs> you. Wait, here. close the door and then open the door. Hey guys, welcome to my crib. So here we have my bedroom. This side is mine and this side is my roommate's. You know what, let's start with the closet. Very nice, spacious walk-in closet. These items are mine. These items are also mine. I'm gonna show you how I organize all of my drawers in these dressers. So this top drawer is all of my undies, bras, and socks. Then this middle drawer. Guys, look at how well I did. I believe it's Marie Kondo. That's like who inspires that type of folding. All my long sleeves in here that range in rainbow order with colors on the top and neutrals on the bottom. Look at me, wow. That's literally insane. Then this bottom drawer, we have my athletic and leisure wear. So that's dresser number one. Now moving on to dresser number two. Top drawer is all of my t-shirts, tank tops, and party tops. Ayo. This middle drawer, we have my bottoms that are not like long jeans. Uh. All my shorts, skirts, weird pants, my maxi skirts, my sets. Good stuff. Then this drawer is all of my denim pants. Nice, good selection in here. Then here in this little bin, we got my bikinis, belts. Here I have these bins that also have my hoodies and sweatshirts because I didn't know where else to put them. And then in my hanging clothes, it ranges from my tank tops to my shirts to my sweaters and then over here we have jackets and dresses also here I have this hamper that I got it sorts it into three sections and then it collapses back to save space here we have the skinny mirror you guys might recognize it from my old dorm room everyone that came into my room loved it because it made everyone look skinny and then obviously everything else in this closet is my roommates and let's head out of here what's weird about this room and the other bedroom is that there's no ceiling light if you like close the blinds right now, it's pitch black. And then at night, there's no lights. I have this desk lamp. I guess we can start with my desk over here. I also have this shelving unit that just has like my hair accessories, makeup, deodorant, perfume. And here I have my white wooden desk. It has this nice drawer with just a ton of junk in it. And then I have this 
desk lamp, which at night I have to turn on because there's no light in here. This mirror we also got at Walmart with this desk and I decorated it with some flowers. It's missing a flower. I have to get it from the front room. I stole this off my wall for the purposes of this video and I have to put it back. Um, there we go. All right, now let's move on to the bed, which I'm so excited about. Obviously, if you're moving into a regular dorm room, you won't have to buy a mattress or bed frame because your place will come with it. But obviously this apartment came fully unfurnished, so I'd buy all that stuff. These two blankets I have on the end of my bed. This one I might leave in my car to have as like a beach blanket because I read online that you can bring it to the beach and like sit on it. This one I had in my dorm last year. We then, found the perfect accent pillow that matches it. Yeah, we got this too. This pillow I had last year, I think I introduced him already. At home, I have a dog named Bear. So here I have a bear named dog. I got these throw pillows. I also got this couch type pillow. Now let's look into my walls, shall we? So a lot of these posters are band posters or just pictures of artists that I like. So I have Sonic Youth, Alex G, Modest Mouse, Smashing Pumpkins, Talking Heads. Oh, I have Harry Styles. Let's zoom in on Harry, shall we? Hi, Harry. Hi, Harry. I give him a little kiss every night. Mwah. Do you actually? No. Wink. I don't know how to wink. I looked at a lot of Pinterest boards when I was trying to figure out how to design my space. Last year, I didn't have like any posters on my wall. So this year I tried to really go for it and I love how it turned out. Yeah, I believe that's everything in my room. I don't know what else to go over. So let's head on out, shall we? So I think we covered most of the apartment except this side is my other roommate's side. I have two other roommates that are sharing this bedroom. This is their bathroom. Here we have a washer and dryer in our unit, which is super nice. I believe that is all for the apartment tour. It went by faster than I expected. I had a blast setting up my apartment. This is like the first time I've ever moved into a new place on my own. So I'm super excited to be here. So I I hope that this helps you guys figure out your college moving situations. I believe I covered most of the essentials that you should buy. If you're looking to buy things for your space, I would highly recommend Walmart. They just have all of your dorm essentials. Super affordable, super high quality. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys again soon. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Bye.